Stephen took him to the motel and rented him a room. He said, pay extra, I want to keep hooch with me tonight. Well, I had no idea, and Stephen didn't have any idea what was going on. We thought he, he told the, he, when Eddie come in from work, the one that had the bypass, he said, don't drive your motorcycle for a couple of days. And Eddie said, why? He said, well, I was riding out in the halls and the cops got after me and I outrun them. Mm -hmm. Well, the shirt he had on, uh, he uh, threw it in Stephen's car and said, well, you get rid of that. That thing stinks because he, I guess he had sweated a lot. And uh, Stephen took it and threw it in the trash. He was going swimming up at the moose and he took it up there and threw it in the trash can not knowing nothing. And so about later that night, his sister-in-law, my other son Scott's wife, called me and said, did you see the news? Did you see who was on the news robbing a bank? I said, no. It's crazy. I mean, next thing I know, I look on the internet and there he is robbing the bank. He's not disguised. He just had on a baseball cap and his sunglasses. Hmm. And the weird thing is, he banked at that bank when he worked. And I know he wasn't thinking straight. I know he just couldn't take the pain no more. And what did he do? Just ask for a certain He asked for fifteen hundred dollars. That's all he asked for. He he had a motorcycle in pawn, and he wanted to pay on it so he wouldn't lose it. And well, they were losing it anyway. If I'd known that he was going to do something like that, I don't care what anybody said. I'd have give him a pain pill every day just to keep him from hurting because I know what it's like, you know? And I told the FBI, I said, if I'd known he was hurting that bad, well, I did know he was hurting that bad, but I didn't think of, you know, I didn't think about him doing anything like that because that's just not Gordon. Mm -hmm. He's just, everybody knows him. Nobody believed it, even though they saw it. 